and the Atlantic City Convention Center buzzing. The IBC Super Middleweight Championship on the line, 12 rounds. Vinny Pazienza, 39 and 5, 27 knockouts. Roberto Duran, 94 and 10, 65 knockouts. It's been 23 years since Roberto Duran won his first title, and he's still at it. And good look at him. Calm demeanor as he's had throughout, and uh, the game face a little mellower than previous years. He used to have those eyes that would just look through you. And here is the tail of the tape as the rivalry already begins at ringside. Pass in to 32, Duran 42. Height about the same. The rate was right on. The reach 73 to 74, Duran. And again, there were some reports of Duran being lighter. The IBC 12 round rules, 10 point must system in effect. Three knockdowns in one round would end the fight. No standing eight cap. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and the referee or the doctor can stop the fight. And we're getting ready for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, your undisputed, undefeated King of Bears, Bud Weiser. It's always been true. This Buds for you, along with new contenders in Dillon Productions in association with the Casino Association of New Jersey presents the featured bout of the evening. This bout is dedicated to the memory of Carlos Monzon. This contest is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., Chairman Jerry Gormley, Board Members Gary Shaw and Al Daniels, Deputy Commissioners Lawrence Wallace and John Greco. Chief Physician at Ringside, Dr. Frank B. Doggett. Attending Physicians, Dr. Ken Remsen and Dr. Wayne Gibbons. Timekeeper at the Bell, Earl Curry. This contest is also sanctioned by the International Boxing Council. President at Ringside, Joseph Gennaro. Also at Ringside, Founder and Chairman, Marty Cohen. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Tim Figley, Joseph Pasquale, and Deborah Barnes. And when the bell rings, working for the 48th time in a world title bout, referee Steve Smoger. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Atlantic City, New Jersey, uh, let's get Rounds of boxing for the vacant IBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trimmed in black, weighing 167 and three quarter pounds. As a professional, he's captured four world titles in four different divisions with 104 professional bouts, 94 victories, 65 KOs, 10 defeats, from Panama City, Panama, Thomas de Caballeros, the four-time champion of the world, El Hombre con los Manos de Piedra, Roberto And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver trimmed in black. Captured three world titles in his professional career. 39 victories with only five defeats. 27 of those 39 victories by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, from Providence, Rhode Island, the three-time champion of the world, the Pasmanian devil, Vinny. And an electric current running through here as they'll get the final instructions from Steve Smoger. You guys, you guys are giving your instructions at the way, you understand? To you protect yourself at all times, you understand that? Okay, touch your gloves. Touch your gloves. Touch your gloves. Necessario, touch your gloves. Steve Smoger has to touch the gloves and takes a shot himself as they did not 
want to touch the gloves. These guys wanted to fight a month ago. And Vinny Pazienza almost charged Roberto Duran before the introductions there. They cannot wait to get at it. So it should be fun. The corners are giving the thumbs down to each other like they want to fight too. And you're looking at two fighters who can't wait. There's one of them, Roberto Duran. The smug game face is on. The corners have been extinguished. Here we go. The second Paz into Duran fight is on. Paz into just missed with a big left hook. will go right at Duran and try to pound the body. Pazienza goes downstairs now. May have been a bit low. Adrenaline is going to be the calling card of round number one especially. So they come flying out of the gate here. Pazienza trying to shuffle and jab his way in. He'll be going downstairs. Pazienta now misses with the left hook. Now the head movement by Pazienta doesn't get him any closer to Duran. Crowd reacting, of course. Duran, as cool a customer as they come, can make you wait all night to try to make you make a mistake. Dangerous, sneaky right hands Duran has. And there's a jab by Duran. Speed of Pazienza, big factor in the fight. Who is going to set the pace here? Can Duran keep it slow enough? Or can Pazienza make Duran use his legs? Good right hand by Pazienza over the top. Nice left hook by Pazienza, then he gets away. And a jab by Pazienza, the counter right by Duran. The crowd expecting bombs, just waiting to explode. Duran corners Pazienza, lands one left hook. Pazienza gets out again. Jabs by Duran. Pazienza jabbing, Duran blocks. Pazienza looking for that left hook, but it's in a right hand instead. There's the left hook by Pazienza with his head ducked to the other side. Wants to load up. Pazienza to the right side. Duran tries to tie him up. And there haven't been big bombs in the opening round, but there have been some clean, crisp punches as Duran and Pazienza close out the first. And we start the second round. Pazienza Duran. Pazienza told between rounds to go up on the jab more by Kevin Rooney, and that's going to be his calling card here. It sets up everything else for Vinny Pazienza and also sets a good pace for the fight. First round, a good one for Pazienza. Duran looking for some counters. Can change fights at a moment's notice. Vinny Pazienza using a lot of the ring thus far in the bout. Ducking the head, looked like he wanted to get the right hand over the top. And Pazienza will use the jab until Duran takes it away. Duran could do that by jabbing well himself, and there's a little needless theatrics by Pazienza. And Duran will go to work in the corner. Body shot by Duran, he turns. Straight right by Duran, now he pounds inside. Good left hook by Pazienza, fighting off the ropes. Neither man worried about leading with his face if he has to here. Pazienza, left hook downstairs to the body. 
Durant smiles a bit, tries to get the right hand in, but he's crowding himself here. And Pazienza lands some good left hooks right by Pazienza, just missed landing flush. Pazienza will be warned for holding the ropes. And referee Steve Smoger does that. Left hook by Pazienza. Now Pazienza retreats over into his own domain there. Happy with the work he did in the corner. And we'll jab it here. Good left hook by Vinny Pazienza. His left hand has been sharp thus far in this bout. And Duran has been the counter puncher. And Pazienza landed a telling right hand. He digs downstairs with a left hook to the body again. Pazienza is open for the counter right when he goes downstairs. But Duran has not found it yet. Pazienza just shy with his right hand. Pazienza downstairs. Duran waiting. He's looking for the opening that he hopes Vinny Pazienza's movement or missing will create for him. Thus far, Pazienza has used the ring. Duran has not followed too much, trying to conserve energy as the second round finishes up. And the third round of 12 between Vinny Pazienza and Roberto Duran gets underway at the Atlantic City Convention Center. I'm Dave Bontempo. Glad you've joined us for this IBC Super Middleweight Championship bout. Pazienza has been showing the way with his jabs and some occasional right hands. Roberto Duran living by the counter-punching philosophy and hearing it in his corner between rounds and has come out a little bit different here in the third. Looked like his corner was gesturing that he had to go to the body more and quicken the pace. Pazienza will win the fight on his bicycle if possible. He was a very good boxer in the amateurs. In the pros, many times he's been lured into slugfest, but some of his most decisive victories have come when he's boxed, i.e. the third Greg Haugen fight. Thus far, Pazienza has tried to be outside. Roberto Duran now tries to close it off as he's adjusted here, and good body work by both on the inside. Pazienza stays there. He wants to challenge Duran's authority on the inside when he could have moved. Left hook by Pazienza. Holds the rope again. Steve Smoger may say something. He did not there. Pazienza tries to get this left hook open. It's there for him. Misses over the top of the right. Jab to the body. The right hand by Pazienza. Duran responds in kind. Pazienza down again with the hook to the body. Not much getting through, but Duran is stymied by it as far as his offensive momentum. Well, the pace has been totally controlled here by Vinny Pazienza. Duran waiting for Pazienza to open himself totally up. Left hook by Pazienza. The crowd getting antsy here. They don't want to see a noble display of defensive art. They're chanting for some offensive work. Thus far, Vinny Pazienza may be doing a bit of a paint job on Roberto Duran. Duran gets inside, does a little bit. Pazienza opens up from his standpoint, and the third round is history. And Pazienza showing some excellent action with the right hand there and did not come enough behind it. Duran missing over the top. We go to the fourth round. Another look at that highlight reel there by Pazienza. Left to the body. 
right to the head. And between rounds, Kevin Rooney wanting Vinny Pazienza to be a little bit more economical with his shots. And there's some good speed by Pazienza as he tries to capture this 12-round IBC battle. Super middleweights going at it for the second time. Neither man strangers to the rivalry aspect of boxing. Paz Jensen had three fights with Greg Haugen. Duran had three with Sugar Ray Leonard. And this is their second against one another. And when Paz Jensen moves, he's got his left hand down low. Kevin Rooney would like him to be jabbing when he's on the move like that. They tie each other up on the inside and you take your pick as to who did the better action there. So far, a few telling blows. A lot of shots on the inside that have not had terrific impact. Duran able to tie up Pazienza when he gets inside there. Duran, a very curious character in this fight. Now he shows a little bit of leading ability. Goes southpaw for a second. And now Duran tries to work that body. Both fighters astonishingly 33 pounds heavier than when they won their first title. That's a lot to come up. That's a lot of change for the body. Duran trying to measure for one good shot. Goes downstairs, doesn't throw it hard there. Seems like he wants to save it for a better opportunity. As the end of the glancing right, then goes away. As the end over the top, misses. And then uses the ring some more. Pazienza downstairs, Roberto Duran following. Not much landing in round number four. Round four goes in the books as more of a chess match than a fight. We start round five, scheduled for 12. Vinny Pazienza in the silver trunks and Roberto Duran in the red. And thus far, uh, I've got Pazienza out to a two-point lead over the first four rounds of the fight. Kevin Rooney in his corner, taking nothing for granted, saying, Vinny, you have to make sure this guy does not steal rounds. Duran, the veteran, has done it throughout his entire career made the most of whatever he can out of his fights. The fewest punches still gets the most effect from him. Pazienza has forced the action. Kevin Rooney imploring him to land that straight right hand more. And Pazienza goes downstairs, and he goes over the top with a big looping right hand. Good left hook by Duran, who seems to be settling in here. And they go back into the ropes again, where both have been comfortable so far. Duran with uppercuts. Duran wins the exchange in there and gets Vinny to do the rattling of the head deal out of frustration. Vinny Pazienza is turning into his hooks, but not getting the entire turn. That's taking some of the power out of it for her. As in to cuts the ring off here and jabs his way. Left hook by Pazienza, goes downstairs again. And when he does that, Duran will know that Pazienza makes that full half turn. If Duran can see it coming, the counter right is there for him. But in this case, the right hand by Pazienza gets in. Duran is trying to find a spot for that right hand now. He knows the mechanics are there, the timing is there. 
He is trying to make it all come in. Pazienza gets his right hand in and gets out. You would suspect the less scintillating the fight at this point might benefit Pazienza because he's outside. Usually it's Duran who can win the less than scintillating fights because he steals rounds. Duran has plenty to react to here. Jab by Pazienza did it downstairs. Duran one at a time. Pazienza with the head movement, but he's not bobbing and weaving closer to the target enough. Straight right by Duran was pretty good. Now Pazienza gets inside. Loads up with the right, shows he would be Bolo, and gets in the jab. Good left hook by Pazienza, good right by Duran. We heat up. There you are, right in the ring. And rarely will you hear a more impassioned effort in the corner than you did see and hear from Duran's people in the fifth round. The jab, the right hand is what they were looking for. And with some speed. And you don't know if that was frustration or simply motivation coming out of the corner. But for both, it's been one of those bouts where both Vinny Pazienza and Roberto Duran have been trying to set up big punches and they haven't gotten them home. Vinny Pazienza landed some early straight right hands and there's another good one. He wants to do that more. Roberto Duran looking for the counter right hand, cutting the ring off, making Pazienza move. Vinny Pazienza shows him the head movement. Goes downstairs, Duran saw it, tried to go over the top with the right hand in countering. And now Duran is countering more than he was during the early rounds of the fight. Roberto Duran is not only seeing the openings now, he's trying to take advantage. So the strategic battle lines have been drawn, and now it's simply a matter of execution. Duran with the straight right missed. Pazienza circling to the side. Duran oddly not closing in and letting Pazienza take a long walk when he does that. Duran looking to conserve some energy and make Pazienza do the work. Left hook to the body by Pazienza. Left hook to the head by Duran. Good right by Pazienza. His best shot of the fight followed by a jab. Two shots by Pazienza. Duran wants to counter. It's getting fun in there now. Pazienza went down from just this kind of scenario in their opening round. Duran did floor Pazienza in their first fight when they were mixing it up. But the fans got a nice little taste of it there, of what the excitement of this fight could be. Left took by Pazienza, Duran closing ground now. Get out yourself, get out. And the trench warfare continues. Three or four shots by Pazienza. Not big in terms of volume, but they count. And if there's one difference in the fight, the judges may look at, it's the number of short combinations by Pazienza, though they may not all be bombs. They add up. Now Pazienza psyching himself up and starting to make voices at Durant, who of course cannot understand it. And it got exciting here, Pazienza. Digging in, steps back a little bit, and then comes forward with his best shot of the fight, maybe of the two fights combined, as Vinny Pazienza got himself some leverage. And you know that Vinny Pazienza will try to do that shot again as we start the second half of this fight. It was quick, instinctive reaction by Vinny Pazienza, a quick turn to the right, and then he got everything behind the right hand. He can do that if he moves laterally rather than circling too much after he lands a shot or fires his punches. So he'll have to be a little closer and move laterally to set up those shots. Let's see if he does it. 
As ends are warned between rounds by Kevin Rooney. Watch that counter right hand. Now Duran follows him around with Pazienza a little off balance and gets in two left hooks. Duran tried that right hand that knocked Pazienza down in the last fight. Off the timing shot, did not get it home. Duran has those veterans instincts, but certainly not the rhythm he had, of course, years earlier. Has to rely on guile now. Duran looks for that right hand here. Shows the jab, but wants the right hand. Pazienza also looks for the right hand. And he gets it. Then a left hook. Took backing away by Pazienza. Good right by Duran. Uppercuts by Pazienza. Holds the ropes again. They hold each other. Vinny Pazienza tries to throw him off now. Surprisingly, after he threw Duran off, he did not go at him. Interesting to waste the motion of firing your opponent off. You've made a point. Go get him. Duran gets inside now. Pazienza again looking for the right. Instead, he tastes one from Duran. Left hook by Vinny Pazienza. Good two-punch combination of hooks by Pazienza, but as he comes out of it, he's wide open. Duran just missed on the counter. Pazienza shows the right hand, comes in with the left. Good right by Pazienza, good answer by Duran. Interesting round to score. Round eight is coming up. As we go to round eight, scheduled for 12. Vinny Pazienza and Roberto Duran, you get the overhead look. And now down at ringside in this IBC Super Middleweight Championship bout. I'm Dave Bontempo, and Vinny Pazienza in the silver trunks. Looks like he's built up a bit of a lead over Roberto Duran, who's trying to capitalize off Pazienza's mistakes in trying to win this fight. Pazienza gets the jab going a little bit here to start the eighth. Duran trying to close ground. Duran has not done much to the body. Good right to the head by Pazienza. Then he gets away and obtains the smirk from Duran, which means it got home. Spinning off the rope. Duran trying to get the right hand in as Pazienza was holding the ropes again. Low shot by Pazienza, left hook by Pazienza. He gets out. When Pazienza comes out of those exchanges, his hands are quite low, and a younger Duran would have been right on him. But he knows he can take the liberty and take a wide stance and run around. And there Pazienza went down, and Duran, in a sense of sportsmanship, did not throw a cheap shot. Now a left hook to the head by Pazienza. Left hook to the body by Pazienza, a bit low. Good right hand by Pazienza. Nice left hook, Pazienza right hand follows up. May have buckled Duran with that one. Duran a bit tired now, Pazienza can jump on him. Left hook, Pazienza right by Pazienza. He's trying for more here. He loads up. Pazienza trying to make something happen against a weary Roberto Duran who is buying time in a big way. Pazienza had the best of it in the late rounds of their first fight. And he again uses the ring. Duran cuts some off. Pazienza cuts himself off at times. So he might get a good angle, and he does with a nice right hand. Left hook to the body. 
right over the top. Vinny Pazienza is in a rhythm now. Left hook to the body, and he's an orth unorthodox with it so that Duran can't time him. Pazienza comes in from big angles and tells Duran, you can't hurt me. And a good right by Pazienza. By far, his best, most consistent round of the fight. And Roberto Duran, gritty, angry, and maybe starting to fade. <laughs> Another angle, he lands a beautiful right hand over the Duran miss. And though he's not in position to follow up, he turns and tries to get the right hand going again. So we'll look for more of that for Vinny Pazienza in the ninth as he has obtained a big momentum edge and may be on the verge of taking permanent control of this fight here. Duran needs to do something big. Pazienza has the youth, the speed, the ability to use the ring, and he's talking to himself, which may make Duran think that Pazienza is more crazy than he. Duran tries to load up the right hand. Pazienza covers the head. Duran has not made enough of a down payment on his body shots to wear Pazienza down and open up his head. Pazienza tries with the left hook. Sets himself. Duran just a split second behind. Nice right hand by Pazienza. Another one. Pazienza has been on with his left hooks to the body in the last couple of rounds especially. And showing a little bit of the mixed bag. He does stay outside in box. Pazienza probably wins about 75% of his rounds. Unfortunately, in boxing, sometimes you lose 75% of your fans when you do it that way. So the crowd usually does go Vinny Pazienza on, and they're getting restless again. <laughs> Just misses with a right hand over the top, back on. Duran again. When Pazienza gets inside or tries to, because he dips his shoulders, Duran has a clear shot, but he does not have the speed to take advantage. Pazienza doing the work on the inside here, has initiated most of the exchanges in this fight, and you would think that on a scorecard, he would be rewarded for that. As he ends it, lands his shot, gets away, and Roberto Duran, notice, is in no hurry to track Vinny Pazienza down. Nice right by Pazienza again. Duran looks 43 tonight. Pazienza with the left hook to the body. Uppercut by Pazienza. Good right by Vinny Pazienza. And a good round for Pazienza. And Roy Jones Jr. Fresh off the win over James Tony at ringside. Vinny Pazienza has mentioned fighting Roy Jones and maybe three rounds away from being officially able to launch a challenge. As Vinny Pazienza, it would appear, opening it up. Leading in this 12-round bout substantially, and of course in their first bout, Pazienza swept the last five rounds on all three scorecards. But because of the controversy uh, in the fight, the fact that he went down and the knockdown round was scored 10-10, he got another payday out of it, fighting Duran again here before he would launch a challenge against Jones if he wins. It would appear that Vinny Pazienza is substantially up, but my round card have only given Duran two of the nine rounds in this fight, which would give Pazienza a five-point bulge 
requiring Duran to knock him out. Pazienza seemingly in control from the outside. Pazienza jab. And Duran coming over the top. It has been a reluctant Roberto Duran at times, showing some of the form that he was showing in the third Sugar Ray Leonard fight. Well, he does not really want to press the action. But left hook by Pazienza. Pazienza seemingly realizing he's getting points here, not gambling for a knockout, although he must be aware that Duran is tiring. Right hand, and Vinny Pazienza gives him the smirk and the shoulder wiggle, as if to say, don't you have anything better? And when two fighters engage in a pretty fiery rivalry, which has been this, they like to get the style points and the best insult in as well, even if they are crossing language barriers. And Pazienza with a right hand and a left hook and a big right by Pazienza. Duran does understand some English, too. Now Duran, nothing on his right hand. Pazienza getting bolder as he continues to wear down Roberto Duran. And for Vinny Pazienza, the last three rounds of this fight, have been the most decisive. And we go into the home stretch of the scheduled 12 round IBC Super Middleweight Championship bout and Vinny Pazienza and Roberto Duran touch the gloves around early. How do you like that? Pazienza over the top. Goes downstairs I'm here at the Atlantic City Convention Center for about 12,000 people. I'm Dave Fontempo. Glad you could join us for this rematch between Vinny Pazienza in the silver trunks and Roberto Duran in the red. Pazienza got off to a fast start in the bout. Rounds four and five were pretty good ones for Duran. And then in the second half of the fight, it has been all Vinny Pazienza as the first fight was for him. Pazienza afforded the luxury of waiting to set up punches. Now just imagine, since his handlers were likely to fight Roy Jones, imagine the speed of Jones in front of him here instead of Duran. That's why you'd see a much different fight. The left hook to the body by Pazienza, right hand over the top. And he certainly has befuddled Roberto Duran with his speed. And winds up with the would-be bolo, shoots out the left. Leonard did that to Duran, made him quit. One-two combination by Pazienza, shaking his right hand. It may bother him a bit. Duran in the corner. Pazienza looking for that right hand. Fates darts in. Vinny Pazienza has certainly been the fresher of the two fighters over the last six rounds. And you would expect that from him being 11 years younger. And he has certainly done everything in the second half of this fight that he should. Pazienza has boxed Duran when necessary. And it's some solid right hands. Not opened himself up unnecessarily against Duran. And he is three minutes and 30 seconds away from wrapping this one up. And a little bit of a presence of Duran, the two right hands. Now, the old Duran, of course, would have been right on top of Pazienza. 
But tonight, can't make up that ground. And if you have one more round left in his back. And we start the 12th and final round of this IBC Super Middleweight Championship bout at Pazienza and Duran. We'll touch the gloves for real, this time with real respect, and take a good look at a legend, Roberto Duran in the red trunks. You never know when it could be the last time you're seeing a legend. Duran, probably the greatest lightweight champion who ever lived. Able to come up and win welterweight titles, the wars with Leonard. They thought he had moved up too much when he fought Davey Moore at 154. He won that title. Came up and won the 168-pound title from Iran Barkley in a come-from-behind fashion. He's had a Houdini existence of getting out of trouble. But on this occasion, Roberto Duran looks every bit of the 42 or 43 years that they've listed on him. And you wonder what kind of rivalries they could get at him, make him get up for a fight and make the public want to see him after it appears he's been clearly and convincingly outclassed here by Vinny Pazienza. 23 years ago, Duran won his first title and he is still at it. He's had a sensational run in this game. Pazienza with the right hand. Big right by Pazienza. Duran keeps coming forward. That was a bomb by Vinny Pazienza. Duran looking for some magic. Biggest difference in him, of course, through the years is the reflexes. The mind knows what to do, but the body just a little bit behind. Right hand by Pazienza, good left hook by Pazienza. Crowd starting to applaud the end of the fight is happy with Vinny Pazienza has done. And now he has turned the turned the fight into a one-sided affair. And as you look at them, picture what this might be with Pazienza and Roy Jones. Got to be some reason other than curiosity that Roy Jones is here tonight. Might be business. Vinny Pazienza grimacing in pain. Was it a low blow? Was it a rib? Or is he okay? But in either case, Vinny Pazienza has put the icing on what should be a very good cake. And Vinny Pazienza is hurt. It was a low blow, it would appear, he's bothered by, or a rib. But in any case, fortunately for Pazienza, if something is bothering him, it happened late in the fight. Not earlier. He made a reaction to a shot by Duran. Now he seems like he's all right. That would be an interesting second look back. Roberto Duran, you see it in the eyes. Now this is where Pazienza hurt himself here. They're in the middle. Left hook. Left hook to the head, and Pazienza winces right after that. Oh, it's his left hand. He may have broken something based on his reaction or really hurt it. That left tech may have landed to the top of the head of Duran and been a bone. Well, he jumped out of there, and let's take a good close look. Nice left hook. He's been doing it all night, and actually there off the push-off as well. A lot of different ways, but after the left hook, Vinny Pazient is hurt. Left hook to the nose of Duran. They come together the shoulder. It might be a shoulder, too. All kinds of medical possibilities. But for Vinny Pazienza, it looks like he has shaken it off here. Momentary problem shows no pain with it. He's not flexing it. Oh, 
very happy with his appearance. <laughs> last six rounds of the fight are his. To the scorecards. Joseph Pasquale scores the battle 116 to 112. Tim Figley has it 117 to 111. And Deborah Barnes scores it 118 to 110 for the winner. And now the IBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Vinny Pazienza. Well, no surprise there as Vinny Pazienza pulling away improving to 40 and 5 27 knockouts the horns are up the suit is back on and very strong effort tonight by Vinny Pazienza taking what is offered and you wonder about that man Roberto Duran sort of like a Dorian Gray as he got older before your eyes during the bout did not really do much and Vinny Pazienza took what was offered for him tonight. And Roberto Duran playing right into the hands of Pazienza. Duran slower. Pazienza had the speed. It's been a fun evening, everybody. Glad you could join us.